What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Angel Snubbed Up 7 in the house, as always, in the name of our ancestors. Peace forever and always, and all that kind of good stuff. Oh, man. Well, uh, <laughs> what they say, karma is a, karma is a bee. Now, again, I don't find joy in speaking negative or ill of people. I find no joy in that. I mean, what is the benefit? There's no benefit. And I do not find, I do not find joy. However, there's a class of people here on YouTube. There's a class of people in society. And uh, they know it all. You can't tell them nothing. They're very arrogant, nasty people. And this person that we speak of is one of those disrespectful, nasty kind of persons. Our sister Noble was on her platform and I thought I was just going to go on the platform like when I invite sister Noble to places. I don't expect that she be treated harshly. So I go on the platform, I think I'm going to have maybe 10, 15 minutes of, you know, civil, nice dialogue with this uh, lady. But I could tell. And I started, something told me don't even, don't even be bothered with her. Don't even, don't even do it. But Sister Noble thought I would get a good reception and we have a nice little time and so I decided to go on her platform and this lady, oh wow, she was so nasty. Uh, you can't tell me nothing. I've done my research. I got the information. Cutting you off. Don't even let you speak. Talking down on you like she's some kind of she god or something like that. Oh wow. I'm like, this, woo, man. If I was like some of these brothers, how you doing that look here, Black? What up? What up? Peace to you. If I was like some of these brothers, boy, I have a whole lot of words, but I just, I'm just like the Jesus of the Bible. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. I, I, I got to hold back. I got to hold back. Because, you know, I'm a Negro now. It's in me. It can come out. I might slip one day. <laughs> so far, I've been able to stay cool, calm, and collective. I don't, I don't call sisters out of, out of their name. and I, I don't do that kind of thing. So, as many of you know, I don't particularly have any real love or anything for this person. And see, the thing about it is very simple. But people like her and others are so, they're so arrogant. The only thing she had to do, and nobody don't even have to even know anything about it. I'm going to say this again. Nobody don't even have to know nothing about it. She could easily send me an email, brother, I didn't know, you know, you took that so hard and that wasn't my intentions, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we can iron that out. But again, we have people who are so arrogant and nasty scholars and they think they know so much and they look down upon you. They want to be your teacher. 
They want to be your God. They want to be your slave owner. That's what they want to be. Ah, uh, not not here. Ah, uh, no, no, not here. I, I don't do that. I'm sorry. No, we, we don't do that here. And you don't know more than I do. Even though I'm not going to be like you. I'm not going to say I know it all. I'm not going to claim to be no scholar and done all this research and blah, blah. I'm not going to do all that. But I do know how to use common sense, logic, and reason. And I am analytical. And I think for myself, I don't have to be founded upon some words from people that's thousands of years old dead. And you got to try to interpret to try to figure out, I wonder what they tr really trying to talk about. That's why everybody interpretation is different because the source is dead. I don't need interpretation when I can go straight to somebody that's alive. So if you want to know about the Reality's Temple, if you want to know anything about the Mississippi Initiative, you can go straight to the living and get your answers. You don't have to go into and find some book that's 2,000, 3,000 years old. <laughs> wow. But again, what they say, karma is a bee. And so as many of you know, I've been posting, and Sister Noble has been posting videos about this particular woman here, uh, the Jezebel of the House of Consciousness. Um, she goes by the name of Napa Shada. Now, I'm not subscribed to this lady, but she all, her videos are always in my recommended. Recommended watch videos. And so, she made a video about 12 hours ago or something like that. And she, <laughs> she's singing this song. And in, in, in the video description, I think it's in the, in the video description, or the title of the video, talk about black YouTube and, you know, com basically complaining about black YouTube. And she's singing this sad song, basically crying. You know, when everything was going good for her, she didn't make any videos like this. When she disrespected me and pumped out her chest and all arrogant, she wasn't singing no sad songs. When she was on the live stream with Sister Noble, cutting her off and doing her thizzy, there was no sad songs. But, but everything is not going her way. And I want to say to you, ma'am, everything is not going your way because you choose to be wrong. You choose to be in error. You want to blame others and you have not yet to take a look at yourself. I have no problem with being wrong. I have no problem with offering an apology. I have no problem with physically paying for any damage that I have caused you. I have no problem with that. Because my intent is not to hurt people. Now, there are some of you who, who will say, you do it all the time. You talk about Nation of Islam, and you talk about uh, comedic stuff, and you talk about Hebrew, and you, you, just, you, just, you just talk about black folks, blah, blah, blah. That's your personal problem. That's not a, that's, that's your personal problem. That's how you look at it. Your religion, your belief, your ideology, it is in the public. Nobody is above scrutiny. And if you feel bad about what somebody is saying about your belief, your ideology or whatever, maybe your happy ass, maybe you need to change 
your belief in ideology if it gets you that upset because it's never going to stop. This is the, this is the uh, hypocritical thing. These suckers run around, they judge other people, call people uh, coons and toms and sambos and uh, you feel with self-hatred. They go around judging folks, calling people names, breaking down their ideology or their beliefs because what they talk about is much better. It's the truth. But when it's their turn, they can't take it. And so they make a video crying about black YouTube. No, lady, you was in the wrong. You could have easily stopped everything by talking to your sister, Noble, because Sister Noble is your sister. She's not your enemy. She did not do anything to you. She reached out to talk to you, and you decided to cuss her out and not respond to her pleas to be able to talk. So now you have to suffer the consequences and we all have to suffer the consequences of our actions. I'm not worried about nobody making any videos about me. It's nonsense. I haven't done anything to nobody. All these clowns complaining about me, I have not done nothing to them. They just don't like how I talk about their ideology, their beliefs, and their ragged ass behavior. That's foul. So I would suggest to you to go look in the mirror. That's what you need to do. Go look in the mirror. Instead of blaming others because you foul. So she's boo hoo, boo hoo. Now, this is the nail in her coffin. The nail in her coffin is at the same time that she's catching all this hell, I guess you could say for her is hell. Nobody, nobody is making video, nobody is coming to help her. Well, first of all, you should not help her anyway because she's in the wrong. She's in error. What's up there, soul sister Karen? She's in the wrong. She's in error. So you jump out there with her. You're going to mess around and look stupid also. You're going to go out there and look silly just like she is. Yes. And she comes on her channel crying. Oh, boy. Well, but you did it, lady. You did it to yourself. Everybody. See, this is what you, you, and Guy Nollywood Jr., and Alquan, the, the faceless troll. This is something that all of you must understand is that everybody is not going to take your abuse. Nobody is going to lay down and let you exploit them. A lot of people will just let you kick them in the ass and they're going about their business. I don't do that. Sister Noah, we don't do that. I for an I, two for a two. I'm a very vindictive person. I believe in revenge. You hurt me, I'm hurting you. I did not do nothing to this woman. I went to the woman's channel just to have a damn talk and got treated like a piece of trash. And I'm supposed to just let that go. Yeah, yeah, Sister Karen, I did. Yeah, she's depressed. And that's what I was just getting ready to bring up. The nail in the coffin for this woman is that her so-called husband, because she's supposed to be involved in some polygamy, polygamous relationship or whatever, but the main wife is with the husband, which I don't think that the main wife is a part of this crap, but I guess she just tolerate this 
wacky behavior. But anyway, she's in Miami, Florida with Sarnetta on the beach. And she looked like she might have a bathing suit on. I don't know. Right, like her. He took his real wife to Miami on vacation <laughs> on the beach. I just saw that video. I'm like, wow. I thought this was your husband. And there is no other women around. It's just Sarnetta and his wife, Cynthia. And he's asking Cynthia, how you doing? She said, I'm enjoying myself. I'm like, wow. <laughs> if Sarnetta is involved in a polygamous relationship, don't you think that uh, he's doing all the other women wrong? So, and I also noticed this. On Sarnetta's channel, I have not even seen Napa on his channel for a little while. So she's really out there. He done really pushed her to the side. And she's all alone. She's in the dark on a video singing a song and, and you got her creepy followers in the chat room. We got your back, Nepal. We got your, your back. Well, where your videos at there? Wait, where your videos? Where is your support? So I mean, it's it's it's, it's uh. Now look at you. There's where's where's all this arrogant attitude behavior that you got? Where's that where's that arrogant attitude? Where's all that hasa diddy? You by yourself all alone. And you was involved in something that don't exist. And people like this still don't learn. They'll cry. Was, was that, that, was, that was a Sade song? Because I love Sade. It must be one of her... Uh, more up-to-date songs because I, I like Chardet. Again, I do not have nothing or never had nothing against this woman. She decided to go off on me for no reason and be disrespectful. She's all angry and jealous with Sister Noble over this man. And this man is on the beach with his wife and his children. I'm, he, I think he has young children also. His children probably there too. And he's talking about how good of a time he's having. And this woman is on a video almost in the dark, singing a sad-ass song. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Really, really pathetic. Well, this is what you get, lady. It's what you get. So you know, you know this turn of events make our side very, very happy. <laughs> It's all gravy here. I knew you was going to get it. That man is not your husband. If he's your husband, why is he on the beach with one woman and you at your house singing a sad ass song in the dark? This polygamy stuff. Is this how this polygamy stuff do? Well, and keep enjoying your keep enjoying your polygamy crap. You know, it's, it's all gravy. That's, that's that's on you, lady. 
Now I would tell you, I know you're not, I know you're not gonna take my advice. I would suggest to you, and you can still be a, he, a Hebrew Israelite. I would suggest to you, if you really want to get down and get together with real people and get away from that nonsense and come into an environment that will clean your mind, that will truly cause you to evolve, you should come here. You should come here under this umbrella. You should come here and listen to this message. And under these men that will respect you the way that you need to be respected. You don't need to run around here and think that you need you need to share your man with two, three, four, five, six women. What are you, some kind of herd ass animal? Are you a herd animal? A sheep or something? You deserve better. I would suggest that you leave that religion and spirituality, all that stuff that you that got you all messed up. Look what it has done for you. Look where you at. You're in the dark, crying. You're in the dark, crying. I don't know how this soap opera is going to turn out because. I know she's got to be very upset. I mean, look, this, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna get out of here. Look, if this man, okay, it's two things that's messed up. First of all, all the heat that you're taking right now, why isn't your husband helping you? Well, I already know why this, your husband not helping you because he knows if he come out and try to help you because he's involved, he's going to blow my views up and he's going to blow Sister Noble's views way out the water. We're going to be out. It's going to be on and popping. And plus, y'all in the wrong. You're going to lose the battle when it's all said and done anyway. I have talked about Sinetta for years. He's never made a, he's never made not one video about me, but he's a chump sitting back in the background crying. Who is this guy making these videos about me? That tells you a lot about him. But at the same time, he'll get on video with somebody like Hassan Campbell, go back and forth, and they talk about I meet you somewhere around the corner and I and I, and I shoot you in the face. You know, crazy stuff. If he's your husband and you catching all this heat, you would think that your husband would be out here to help you. But no, your husband decide to get on an airplane and take his wife and his children and vacation in Miami. And then, now this is the killer. Okay, you can do that. You in a polygamous relationship or uh, uh, whatever. But the killer thing is, he goes on camera and lets everybody see him with his wife. You ain't nowhere around. And his children. There's no other women around. Just this one woman. He goes on video. He could have kept that to himself. He could have took his family to Miami and kept all that on the down low. He's going to make it even worse for you and all these others supposed to be wise if they exist. How do that make the, how do that make you, sister, look? How do that make the other wise look? You should, you should feel stupid and you should be on video crying. You should feel like a fool. That's not a lifestyle for you. I understand there's supposed to be a shortage of men. I understand that, blah, blah, blah. It's very funny to me that almost every woman I ever chased in my life, there was some brother all already there. 
but there's a shortage of brothers. And it's supposed to be so many single sisters. Where are these single sisters at? Every sister I ever chased, there was always some Negro already there. But you don't have to tolerate that. Hell, there's brothers on this channel right here that probably wouldn't mind getting with you. And they single. They don't have no other women. See, a lot of you sisters involved in that polygamy stuff, you suffer low self-esteem. And you caught up in those woman-hating religions. And see, Sister Nepal is not done. Sister Nepal knows that there's something wrong with that teaching, especially when it comes to how they treat the female, how they treat women. But she's going to remain in that exploitation. And now she's on the video crying. You gonna always cry all your life. You lucky you're not getting your ass whooped. Because that comes with the territory too. These men are very abusive. They whooped your ass. You, cut, you go out of line. They feel they have that right to beat on you. And if they don't physically beat on you, they verbally beat on, beat on you. I saw I saw an interchange with Sarnetta and Nepal and Sarnetta didn't know that he was live and he was going back and forth with her the usual abusive verbal I'm the man kind of attitude towards her I don't see how you women take that that's not acceptable. And we don't do that here on this platform. Again, I don't have nothing against this lady. I have nothing against her. But I cannot I cannot sit back in the cut and let you allow you to feel like your behavior is correct when it's not. And I'm very sure many people have tolerated your nasty behavior and they just like call your name and go about their business. Well, I like to make videos. Sister Nova like to make videos. And we're going to talk about our, ex our experience. That's why the Nation of Islam don't like me talking because I'm talking about Minister Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam, this is my experience. If you don't like it, then y'all need to change your ways. They have not changed their ways. There are many brothers and sisters who have, they have took a dump on, threw away like trash, like toilet paper, and they just go on about their business. I wish all of you who have been abused and exploited by the nation of Islam, all this blackly black crap. I wish, I know it's embarrassing. I know it hurts you. It's a hurtful thing, it's embarrassing. But you should tell your story so our younger people and our naive people don't get caught up in all this blackly black foolishness. It's not what it appears to be. It's nothing but white supremacy Chocolate covered white supremacy. That's all it is. Why do you think they can't make any progress? Because it's not designed for progress. They are part of the problem, not the solution. So I, you know, I reach out to Sister, I really don't, I really didn't like to see the video, quite honestly. I don't like to see, I don't like us to see our sisters hurt. And she looked, and she looked very, very um, sad and hurt. But you brought that on yourself, sister. 
And I'm like Tupac. I'm not angry at you. There's no ill feeling. I would suggest to you, this door is open. I'm not your enemy. You can talk to me and we can straighten everything out. Hey, Sister Noble. You need to get out of this black conscious crap. It's no good. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. But before I do, Sister Noble, Monday, and I'm going to, I'm going to simulcast on this channel also. But Sister Noble is, is interviewing our soul sister, Alexis K. Tyler. And she's going to bust out and reveal some stuff about the black conscious community. Yeah. I would suggest y'all leave that black conscious crap alone. It's filled with a bunch of criminals. And in general, just a bunch of ragged ass suckers that's taking advantage of our situation so they can enrich their own pocket. They do not care anything about you, sister, getting a good brother and living decently in your life while both of you are working for the liberation of so that your children can be enjoy a liberated state of mind, a state, physical state. So Monday, June the 7th, at 9 p.m. on Sister Nova channel, and I'm going to simulcast the interview with our sister Alexis Tyler. She got some revelations for us. Sister Nova's promotional video getting a lot of thumbs down already. Ain't nobody, nobody said nothing yet. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Since the noble video already got thumbs down. But the sister Alexis is ready to bring the definite article, the fire. We need to leave all this black conscious stuff alone. And like I just made it, I made it very uh, clear. We've been celebrating um, the 100th anniversary of the Black Wall Street Tulsa massacre. Black scholarship did not build that. There was no Marcus Garvey. There was no teachers of Elijah Muhammad. There was no Noble Drew Ali. That was just our people living their life, trying to survive in a racist society, and chances are they was Christians. But you did not... As far as I know, Black Wall Street did not have no teachings for you to follow. They did not have no scholarship for you to follow. They didn't have all that. It was just brothers and sisters trying to survive in a racist country. No more, no less. They wasn't running around trying to convert people to religion and scholarship and, and reading all these damn books and all this other nonsense and talking about ancient Egypt and all this other nonsense. Just brothers and sisters accepting who they was, where they was at, not trying to be somebody else, wearing a strange ass costume, trying to be some damn African or whatever. And, and somebody sent me a video. They always talking about this African crap. Somebody sent me a video. I think it was Brother Daniel. He sent me a video, and basically, it's saying in the video that in it's fifty, it's over fifty nations in Africa, but at least thirty of them, it's legal for a man to kill his wife if she don't give him some sex. It's legal. 
Do you hear what I said? It's legal in 30 African countries if a wife don't put out to her husband, he can kill her. Not beat her. Not put her on punishment. He can kill her. And I was watching the video of a case and not only the husband, but the other men was doing it. Beating on this woman, on this man's wife until she, until they killed her. And where did this happen? In Africa. Yeah, in Africa. And it's legal in over 30 countries. Go, go to Africa. If y'all sisters pack your bags up and go to that Africa, uh, uh, whatever, okay, you take your chances. Stay in, okay, keep following that, that Pan-African Black Conscious Scholarship, all that nonsense. It might be better for the men, but y'all sisters, oh wow, and they can, who knows what to say when they can get y'all alone like that, when you're all by yourself. You got ass whooping coming, you got rape coming, oh wow, woo! Shout out to Sister Noble, shout out to uh, our Sister Karen, they get together and be breaking this whole thing on down. Sister Nepal, I would urge you, I'm not mad at you, why don't you come here, why don't you come to a place where your knowledge and your wisdom and who you are would be much appreciated. And ain't no man going to hold you back. You can live up to your potential and be who you are. And you don't have to worry about nobody whooping your ass. And maybe one of these brothers you might meet in the chat room or something like that. Y'all might click. And you don't have to share him with nobody. And y'all can go to the beach, make a video, and chill out. Hey, Angel, we in Miami. <laughs> What's up? That's not a good place for a woman. That black conscience, all that stuff, African, that's not a good place. That's not a good place for you. I'm not mad at you, sister. But I couldn't let you slide with that when you... Because... I'm like Barney, uh, Barney Fife. You gotta nip it in the bud. And if you let, if, and when you allow people to slide with certain things... <laughs> Sister Karen, everybody have a... Have an opportunity to change. What, what she was, what she was yesterday, she might not be that way tomorrow. All of us come from, from bad places. Some of us, you know, some of us come from some pretty, pretty rough places. I never was, I never was in a bad spot to begin with. That's just my nature. I never was. But some of these people, they was really doing bad. Actually... Actually, some of this black, that's why they're very dedicated to these teachings because a lot of them really was doing really, really, really bad. And if it, w and, and, and if it was not for the teachings of the Honorable Minister Farrakhan or some of these teachings, they said they might be dead right now. They might be dead. But uh, that's not your job. See, that's for me. I can do stuff like that. I can talk with people and try to reason with them and work with them. That's not your job. That's my job. That's my job to, because, I mean, because all of us deserve liberation. All of us deserve better. A lot of us just don't know. A lot of us act in ignorance. So it may not be your job because you're not made like that. But you are made to do stuff that I can't do or don't want to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, believe me, I understand, but like I said, that's not your, that's not your job. That's not your job. 
and people people change and people change we don't know what was it in the scriptures they was talking about uh, and I said if we get out of here um, it was a person his name I think his name was Saul and Saul was one of the the greatest enemies of, of the of the followers of Christ. He was a he really he really hated Christians. But then one day he had a revelation. And then that Saul became Paul, and Paul became one of the greatest defenders of Christ. What well, a person was today, they might not be tomorrow. We we don't you really don't know. If you give them a chance. But that's not, that's not. Of course she hasn't shown any chance. This is just the beginning. We don't know what she might be next year. We don't know. Of course she's messed up right now. But look where she been. She's been in the septic tank. Deep in the septic tank. Yeah, it's let, yeah, let me deal with it. That's what I'm supposed to do. That's not your job. That's what I'm supposed to do. If, if it can be done. I don't beg nobody for nothing. If it can be done. I don't know if it can be done or not. This is not, this is not personal. Of course. And you're supposed to feel that way. But people change. We don't know what she might be tomorrow. But that's not that's not my job. And maybe she might not change. You don't have to worry about it. She stayed she stayed the way that she is. But uh, you know, I, I can't. I'm not gonna. I can't argue and debate that because that's not that's not your job. That's not your responsibility. Because the reality is, it's a lot of us that's messed up in this country. Way worse than she is. Way worse. We, we're, we're messed up. We're damaged goods. Yes, she did. Like, I don't know. I don't know what might happen. But see, that's just the, that's the, uh, that's just the compassionate part of me. Because I understand that this mission is not just for a certain few. It's for all. And the all is going to include her. All. You take control of the state of Mississippi, you put people, you put people in a better position, all is going to benefit whether you like it or not. That's just how it goes. And maybe it takes, it takes a, <laughs> y'all act like, y'all, <laughs> y'all going too far. Y'all act like, like I'm on a line with her. I haven't even talked to the woman yet. <laughs> I don't know. And you probably won't even know till maybe a year, maybe a year after, or whatever. I, I don't know.
Well, if she wants money and not liberation, you don't have to worry about her coming the our way. <laughs> let me see if I can. Let me see. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, yeah, so, let me see. All right. Well, anyway, I, that's all I wanted to put out there. I I know we, we are angry and upset and everything, whatever. We have no compassion for folks no more. <laughs> I know. But see... Yeah, ain't no, you know. Absolutely. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know how you, you're angry and you're upset. I, I understand that, but I see, I'm not angry. Yeah, she, she probably, yeah, she's, she's probably one of those type of women that that just take that kind of abuse. She's one of those women that, that uh, she'll cry. She'll cry for a little while and go back to normal and, and whatever. But we don't know. But we don't know. Y'all trying to shoot me down now. What the hell's up with this? <laughs> it's not only her. It's not only her. I have a compassionate heart because I understand that I that I understand that the people are, are sick. I don't even know do I admire her? I don't even know this woman. I didn't know this woman. I didn't know this woman until Sister Nova went on, on that program. I don't know nothing about her at all. I don't know what there's to admire. She does not offer any teachings or anything that I'm attracted to. So I don't know. I, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you mean? Do I admire? I don't know nothing about her. She's regurgitating black conscious Hebrew Israelite stuff. I mean, there's nothing to admire. I, I heard that, been there, done that. I did not I did not say well first of all I wouldn't even bring her on with nobody just be me and her and that's that's and that's that's a maybe that's not no guarantee of nothing yes she did But we don't know. 
and you're so, I mean, you're so caught up in emotion, you're not understanding where I'm coming from because it's her. She's not the only one. You got a whole lot of folks out here that's like her and probably worse. The mission is to liberate a people and if she's part of that people then she's part of the process and we're not going to get nowhere the way that we that we do there's got to be somewhere at some point in time where we can forgive one another and we can work out our problems so we can solve this problem once and for all. Now there are those, I understand, that it's never going to happen. I understand that. And, and also, your your comments is, is you're putting you're putting the uh, what they say you're putting the uh, cart before the horse. She's not here, so you cannot make a comment or judge or say anything about something that don't exist. It does not exist. I don't know where you're coming. I mean, I mean, you, we are, I mean. Brother Maurice called me names. A lot of those guys have called me names. And people will always call you names. Because we get emotional over our ideologies and our beliefs. That's never going to stop. If you're not going to grow up, see this is the thing about it. When you going to grow up? How you going to build a nation? Well, that's why you're not in charge of anything. That's why you are not that's why you're not that's not your job. When, when are we going to grow up? You're not going to grow up. You're not going to have no independent nation. You're not going to do nothing. You're going to live a slave and die a slave because these type of mindsets and behaviors, that's why you can't do nothing. You've got to find, at some point, you're going to have to learn how to be able to talk to one another and understand and be compassionate to, to another person. Everybody is not like you. Everybody is not like me. So it's really, if you're going to have, have this type of mindset, it's a waste of time. What are you doing? So what is the purpose? My purpose is to liberate a people. As long as you live, you're going to get hurt. You jumping the gun. I ain't said nothing about her now. What you talking about?
You jump in the gun. You talk about something that don't even exist. When it exists, then you can talk about it. It don't even exist. If they don't care about liberation, you don't have to worry about it. And then those who claim that they are about liberation, it's 24 hours of the day. What do we do in order to secure that? You say they don't want liberation. Actions speak louder than words. It's 24 hours in a day. What do we do in order to secure that liberation? What do we do? And we continue to jump the gun. Also, when something like that actually happened, I can understand why we talk. But ain't nothing never happened. So why, why are we having a, about a conversation about something that has not, has not happened? Sister Deity is another person that have talked bad about me. I don't know why we're jumping the gun about something that has not even happened. Also, I ask the question, we have 24 hours in a day, what do we do out of the 24 hours a day to show that we, that we support liberation also? Well, my thing also is Well, I don't know who these people are that, that's around me that, that I keep around that mistreat me because uh, they're gone and they don't stay long. Well, this is my house. And I can invite anybody here to my house. This is my house. I built this house. Who built this house? I built this house. I built this house, nobody bringing me no subscribers, nobody doing nothing for me, and I can handle my business. If you don't like so-and-so, you don't have to deal with so-and-so. I'll deal with it. See, this is the thing. I end up
end up beefing with my own biological family. What? This ain't no different. You beef with your own sisters and brothers. To my knowledge, I don't know. I don't know if a perfect, any perfect relationship, a perf perfect family. I, I don't. I've never seen that. I've seen. I seen people that really love each other fall out. Fathers get angry at sons. Sons get angry at fathers. Mothers get angry at daughters and sons. That's life. Who are you talking about, Karen? What other guy? There ain't, there ain't no other guy. What you two are you talking about? This is what I do understand. We get too emotional over things. And that, and then, this emotion stops us, stops us from looking at the big picture, because the big picture is beyond me. The big picture is beyond Maurice or any of us. It's the big picture. The big picture is your future generation. The big picture is our responsibility in this time, so those in the future don't have to deal with the crap that we dealing with but we're not mature we're not growing and we're not maturing in order to get that job done so we're going to pass on the nonsense that we're dealing with to our future generation I didn't fall out with, with those brothers. They fell out with me. Brother Gary wanted me to have a debate with a Pan-African. And I told him I wasn't interested and he got angry over it. Brother Bakari want me to be a Pan-African. I'm not interested. That ragged ass guy in Hollywood Jr. want me to be a Pan-African. I'm not used, I'm not, uh, I'm not interested. They wasn't part of this platform. They, they were just some people that was visitors. They wasn't here. I never expected them, them to support or help me do nothing. It's a lot of things that we have to do here. When you talk about taking control of a state, that's a lot of work and really, that's the work of a nation of people to get that job done. A little handful of people on a YouTube channel is not going to be able to accomplish that at all. That's why, that's why I'm pro pro promoting it from a nationwide position. Also, I don't even know if we have time to even get the job done. It might be too late as we speak. And we're just going to get what's coming to us. And maybe that's a good thing. Because really the so-called Negro shouldn't even exist anyway. It was created. We, we, we're like Frankenstein monsters created on a slave plantation.
I agree with that. Uh, for what's that? Four livers, God. All this, all this blackity black stuff. All of it, all of it is is, is failed. They have no idea what they're doing. They they are emotional. They emotional. Oh, four rivers good. Okay. The black conscious community and all this black and black stuff is no different than going to church. And I started noticing that when I was in the nation of Islam. It's no different than going to church. I'm like, uh, this ain't no different than going to church. I mean, they talk rough. They they talk they talk a good game or whatever. But when it's all said and done, it's, it's no different than going to church. Same same stuff. In the black conscious community, you got your preachers, you know Tariq Nasheed and Young Farrell, Sarah Sunseti. And even Sonetta teach a little bit or whatever. You got your preachers. And you act and behave the same way they do in church. They know it's not no different. And you still in this country and don't progress and don't do a damn thing. The same thing like if we was going to church. Same stuff. They ain't no different. But our ancestors... In 1921, Black Wall Street, even though they were Christians or whatever, they had a whole different mindset than we have right now. Because they know they needed each other. See, that's our problem. That's our main number one problem. We don't think we need nobody. And the reason why we do that, because we all of us is getting crushed from the white man's table. So we don't need each other. So I can talk to you any kind of crazy way. I can do to you and say whatever. Because I don't need you. Yeah, yeah, Albert. I made you a moderator. But YouTube be tripping. It's called, uh, certain, certain words. Or I don't know. Certain words. That trip. Uh, that trip stuff in their system. And it. And uh, it won't, uh, it'll remove your comments. That's the number one reason, problem that we have. We don't think we, see Black Wall Street, those brothers and sisters living in Oklahoma, they knew that they needed each other. And so they learned. You think you think they didn't have uh, problems in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Yes, they did. They had to learn how to deal with the different personalities and the different problems and issues. They had to learn how to get along because the only one they could depend upon was themselves. We don't think that way. I don't need you. I don't need Angel Snub Number Seven. I don't need Sister Nova. I don't need. Ken. I don't need. You. I do my own thing. Cause all of us, we are getting our crumbs out of society. So I don't need you. The hell with you. The problem is, your condition is not going to change until we unite. Learn how to get along in Harlem, New York. The government gave grants to help the people there start businesses. Hold on, let's see. The black religious groups, Muslims, never told the black. Oh wow! Did y'all read the comment by River for Rivers God? Wow, I didn't know that. See, there's so much stuff that we don't know. And, you know, it's just... But I know when, when uh, 
Sister Alexis get in, she really gonna blow it out the water. She gonna blow it out the water. I already know I can hear it coming. Absolutely. Yeah, that's messed up. When you look, when you're trying to do, trying to get out of this situation that we're in, we're not going to be able to get out of this situation. Because we're going to need everybody, and everybody's not going to be on board. I have no problem when I see that a piece of trash ain't with it. I have no problem with putting a piece of trash in the garbage where they belong. I certainly don't. Now, I'm not, I'm not a dumbass. You know, don't talk to me like I'm a dumbass because I'm not a dumbass. If I was a dumbass, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I spent 10 years locked up and got myself out. Nobody helped me. I got myself out. I knew who, I knew who to trust and who not to trust. And I got out. So I'm not a dumbass. I understand perfectly everybody is not going to be on board. Hell, some of, the, some of the folks that's running their mouth talking about, I'm with you, they ain't with me either. Because actions speak louder than words. Making a YouTube video is not support. What are emails? I want to have a, a tour of the state of Mississippi. Send out some emails, find us a church to go talk to, find us a mayor, find us something to do. I know you did. And so, you know, this, this woman, the only thing she had to do is talk to Sister Noble, but that's, the, that's their attitude. People like this are arrogant. And they all into themselves. But now, she's suffering the consequences of her action and suffering the reality of what she's dealing with. Now you're on your channel crying like a baby. And your so-called man is on a beach with his wife. Whose fault is that, Sister Nepal? Whose fault that you crying on a video? It's not my fault. You brought all this on yourself. And now you suffer the consequences of your actions. And it's, just, it's not just her, it's some others suffering the consequences of their action, siding with, siding with some foul ass people. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I am. I am too nice and too forgiving. I, I, I will confess, I will confess. But I'm not going to put myself in a life and, and death situation. Now that's different. I'm not going to put myself in a position with a person I know that could hurt me. I'm not going to do that. Look how many chances 
that I gave that Alquan piece of trash. And he's a piece of trash. Faceless piece of trash. There's a reason why he hide behind that picture. It's a reason. So, uh, Yeah, I know, I know. But like I was telling you, you got relatives, biological relatives that's foul. And this is just something that we're going to have to deal with because you got people, you got people that say they're with you and they're not really with you. Brother Maurice talk, talked about, as long as he was talking about going to Mississippi physically, all his people... All his people was, yeah, yeah, that's right, Maurice. Preach, brother, preach. When, when they saw that brother Maurice actually was serious about packing their bags and moving to the state, folks start ch changing on them. I got relatives I don't deal with. Absolutely. And you know, let them, I, you know, I don't know. I just, I'm just a kind, compassionate person. And uh, I give folks the benefit of a doubt, but I'm not going to put myself in a situation where they could cause me physical harm. Because I'm not the one on trial. They're the one on trial. Not me. And I don't know if there's... I don't know if I ever... This woman, I don't... All I'm saying is people can change. That's basically what I'm saying. And people can change. This woman could change. This woman could change and next year. She could take her talents and, and, and put, put the Mississippi campaign in a place we never thought we'd ever be. Who knows? She's going to be a divisive if she don't change. People always, people can change. Y'all don't believe people can change? Apparently not. Apparently not. People, people don't have a chance. People don't have the right to earn forgiveness. You don't, you don't believe nobody's worthy of forgiveness? Where is that at? Absolutely. Now what's up with this uh, thing? I can't even. Right. But again, that's pulling the that's pulling the cart before the horse. So I, you know. It's, that's not even that's not even nothing to talk about because it's not it's not a reality. Probably never see this ding back. Probably probably never see this ding back uh, in life. Yeah, okay for rivers. 
I'm getting ready to get out of here too. I just wanted to talk for 20 minutes. It never, <laughs> it never happens. It never, it never happened. But again, uh, June the 7th, 2021, Monday at, uh, at, uh, Monday at 9 p.m. and I will be simulcast the broadcast. Sister Alexis uh, Tyler, Sister Noble will be interviewing Sister uh, Alexis Tyler, and she has a lot to say about the uh, her experience within this genre called the Black Conscious Community. And I would suggest to anybody that that is a community, that is a mindset that. You should avoid. It's not, it's not, it has proven. It's not me, and I'm not hating on nobody. Time has revealed that mindset has not done nothing for us. It has done nothing. It's not going nowhere. So, uh, yeah, thank you for, for Rivers God. Good. For joining us. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I agree. Oh, yeah, that guy. From the D-Health store. Yeah, I used to go back and forth with him, too. Back in the day, and he caught he caught so much he he had to take down his YouTube channel. That that man was running around selling all kinds of garbage to people. Yeah, I remember him. Mm. But you know something? I I said this before we close, just out of respect for. For y'all sisters and whatever, because I see how <laughs> just talking about it gets you upset. I'm not gonna say nothing to this woman. <laughs> I'll leave that one alone. <laughs> oh, let me see. Okay. Yeah, so. Mm. What, what would Alexis want with his... Wasn't that guy like skinny as hell or whatever? I forgot what he looked like, but... It, he looked like he was sick. He didn't didn't look. He was the health store. He didn't. And also, uh, it was a tour. It was the health store, and they were supposed to try to get Omar Johnson and and Tommy Sotomayor. They were supposed to go uh, the the manhood tour, or some crap. I'm like, really? But that never did happen. Okay, so. So everybody, you can sleep well. I, I'm not. I have no intent to interact with that woman at all. Okay, I'm not interacting with that woman. Period. She's on her own. Whatever would be, whatever her destiny is. I don't have nothing. I won't be a part of it. So I, I'm not going to do that. I don't. Out of respect for my sisters here. I'm not. I'm not going to even. I'm not going to even attempt. I'll leave that one alone. So on that note, I'm ready to get out of here. Another 20 minute talk. An hour. <laughs> so, and I wanted to do I wanted to do it on my rest stream, but my uh, on my phone, but it kept going out on me. Wow. Alexa.
Alexis, Alexis know she been around all these suckers in the community. Wow. I know she gonna bring that fire. People need to hear that. They just don't, folks don't understand this this black conscious garbage or whatever it is, it's just it's not going nowhere. It's 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 as they would say in religion, it's really it's wicked and demonic. They're nothing they're nothing but slave owners. Nope. They're nothing but slave owners looking for slaves. They have no interest in liberation. We want to get out this situation once and for all. We don't want to continue to pass this garbage to the next generation. This is the generation that should bring this to an end once and for all. I hope that all of this is a wake up call to that poor woman. Maybe she might get her act together. And maybe if we see that she changed and, and, and whatever, maybe folks will look at her and say and give her a chance. Oh, I don't have nothing to do with the black community. It's always OEMC -E here. We don't do no. It's soul power here. It's soul power here. Soul brothers and sisters here. It's Operation Exodus Mississippi here. All that other crap can kick rocks. Ain't nothing happening. Of course, and we and you and we shouldn't trust. You gotta prove yourself. Actions speak loud in words. You got to prove yourself. Anybody can talk. Absolutely. I don't trust it either, really. I don't trust none of these folks that are coming out. Uh, Sister Ann sent me a link to some, uh, she was telling me these people are doing uh, doing the Mississippi campaign thing. I'm like, that's impossible. We're the only one. We are the original. We're the only one. So I went to the link. It was a bunch of Pat African, you know, some Pat African crap. And they, they want you to, they want you to, they want to charge you $30 a month to listen to that Pat African crap. I don't think so. You're absolutely right. And just like I say, I won't have no interaction with her at all, period. So I just want y'all to... I won't have no interaction with this woman at all. I just feel sorry for her. That she's all, you know, she's all messed up and caught up in that garbage. But, you know, we have to suffer the consequences of our actions. We suffer. So she's, she's in her house all by herself or whatever. Or maybe one of her black, one of her black conscious friends come over. And, and they, they do the do, I guess, you know, help her. Cause that's 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 the uh, cause that's the uh, that's how we deal with our problems: drinking and 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 and, and having sex. That's how we solve our problems. You can tell she's not a, a into that polygamy stuff. She's she's too jealous. You can tell that woman. Is not into no polygamy. She, her, her, her heart, her attitude about the whole thing is too jealous. She's too jealous.
and she saw Sister Nova as a threat. Well, I can't help. I don't. I don't. I don't know if the if that's the word. I feel sorry. It's just it's just pathetic because when you have that attitude, when you have that kind of attitude, you gonna have to suffer the consequences. See her. See she messed up by messing with us. Sister Noah is very vindictive. I'm vindictive. We, be, we believe in revenge. You done messed up, lady. <laughs> and all those guys that be after me, they don't know. I'm a fighter. I don't fall easy. You should know better. They steady trying, dumbass. I don't fall. I've been on YouTube since 2007. I done messed around with the best. The best bet is to go on, leave me alone. So on that note, let me get out of here. And uh, catch y'all in the clip. And again, just to comfort you so that y'all can sleep good, I will not have no interaction or talk or nothing with this woman. I will not do that. She's on her own. Yeah. Yeah, she she messed up. See, Sarnetta knew better. Sarnetta knew better. But if he's supposed to be her husband, where the hell he at? Oh, he's on the beach in Miami. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we are the five thousand, y'all. Thanks for joining me, and uh, peace forever and always, and soul power.